Today we have a very interesting topic which is grids in UI design and we mainly have two type of grids. First one is pixel grid and second one is column grid. We use column grids in website design and I will cover column grids in the next video. Today we will see only pixel grid. Now everything in UI design is picked from real world and grid is also one of them. So first let's see the example of grids in real world. If you remember in childhood we used to write on notebooks which contains pages something like this. This was maths notebook and this was English notebook. In this the rules were simple. You just have to write over the grid. You cannot go outside the grid like I cannot type T up above the grid, I have to stick to the grid so that it will look beautiful. Similarly, in maths notebook, we were allowed to write only one number inside one box. Although the writing on this page is not that much defined, I copied this page from internet. But you got the idea what I'm trying to say. We were allowed to write only one number in one column or one box. The similar thing happens in UI design. We use pixel grids like like we have different grid system like two pixel grid, four pixel grids, eight pixel grids, five pixel, ten pixels, twelve pixels. Now, for example, if I take four pixel grids, imagine if I'm using four pixel grid in my design, then what I will do is I will design all the elements like I'm designing a button. So I will give the height of the button according to four pixel grid. The height of the button will be in multiple of fours. Like imagine I, I want to design a large button and now the height of the large button is usually greater than 50 pixels. So I can either choose 52 pixels or 56 pixels for my large button because 52 and 56 are multiple of 4 and we are using a 4 pixel grid system. Similarly, if I was using a 5 pixel grid system, so I can use a size of 50 pixels or 55 pixels for my large button. And we do the same thing with spacing. Like if I want to give spacing between two buttons and I'm using an 8 pixel grid system. So the minimum spacing I can give between two buttons is 8 pixels. Then we have 16 pixel spacing. And if you are just a beginner, I will recommend you to use an 8 pixel grid system or a 4 pixel grid system because in 8 pixel grid system or 4 pixel grid system, we don't have many options available there and it's very easy to use 8 pixel grid and 4 pixel grid system because majority of the design system you out there or majority of the apps you see out there uses a 4 pixel or 8 pixel grid system and we will rarely use these 3 pixel grid system in your UI design like personally I have never used these 3 numbers I personally stick to a 2 pixel grid system or a 4 pixel grid system because it's more convenient but as a beginner you should either use a 8 pixel or a 4 pixel grid system now let's see a practical example how this thing actually looks in UI now I have a screen here but if you just select any element on this like if I select this uh, progress indicator okay and if you look at the height of that progress indicator it's 4 pixels but the width is not following the 4 pixel grid system you can see that width is 49.5 that's because the width depends upon the screen size like if I increase the screen size the width of that indicator will also change a similar thing happens with this uh, like chips the width is not fixed like width changes according to the screen size but the height is fixed we are using a height of 48 pixels which is a multiple of 4 pixel which means we are using a 4 pixel grid system here similar thing happens with this icon if you just select the icon the icon is 24 by 24 so we are using a 4 pixel grid system and same thing happens with the spacing we just select it and hold down alt or option key then you will be able to see the spacing of that element like on the left it's 16 pixel on the top and bottom it's 12 pixels similarly if i select this container and hold down alt or option key then you will be able to see that spacing from left is 24 pixel and from the right is 24 pixels so we use pixel grid for both spacing and size but the same thing is not applicable for fonts if you just select this font it's 24 pixels but if you select the body font it's 14 pixels we have different rules for font size i will cover that thing in different video that's called font scaling and there are scenarios when the spacing between two elements will not be equal to four pixel grid system or any grid system you're using like in this example if you take the bottom button currently it's like 261 pixels but if the screen size was big if you have a big phone like then the screen size will be different now if i select and check the spacing it's 412 so it really depends upon the screen size in some scenario the width is not fixed in some scenario the spacing is not fixed if it depends upon external elements like screen size or the content we are in if you just take this example if, if the button was smaller if i just copy and add a auto layout like click here and give it a padding of 16 pixels from left and right now the button size depend upon the content inside the button if i change this next button to let's go then the button size is changed it's not following the pixel grid system so, so whenever one thing is depending upon other we cannot guarantee that it will follow a pixel grid system either it can be a height width or spacing like if i take this example of this card like if if the description was big currently the height is 281 now height is not following the pixel grid system because the height is depending upon this image this text and this body text now if you just look at the text the height is 26 pixel but the body text is 19 pixels now because of this body text the card is not following the pixel grid system in height but it's width is following a pixel grid system like 272 it's a multiple of four so these are some scenarios where pixel grid system is not applicable but we always try to design within a pixel grid system and to design with pixel grid what you have to do is you simply have to 
select the screen you are designing on. Just go to this layout grid option, like simply click here. And by default, it has added a pixel grid of four pixel, but you can change it if you want to use a eight pixel grid, you can type eight here and it will add a grid of eight pixels. And we have three options here, like column grid, row grid. We will cover these two in next video. Currently, we are sticking to pixel grid. Now, if I type eight, then it has added a pixel grid of eight pixels. Now, if I zoom in, you can see that we have a red box of so let's increase the brightness so that you can see clearly. Now, if I draw a box here, you can see that the box is of 8 pixels so it has added a 8 pixel grid on my screen for beginning it will be very helpful for you to add a grid on your design so whenever you're designing a element like button if i draw a button like this so i can stick to the pixel grid system but there is one more problem if you just look at it it's following the pixel grid system properly let me add some color okay it's following the pixel grid system properly it's aligned properly okay but if you look at the left spacing, it's not following the pixel grid system. That's because the screen size is not in the multiple of pixel grid system. So to fix that, we always design on a screen size of 360 by 640 pixels. We also have a preset for that. If you just select frame and then go to this preset option like frame here, then choose this Android small. Then we have a screen size of 360 by 640 pixels and this is the smallest size and you should always design on it so that your design can fit on all screen because this is the smallest size and if it can fit on a small size it can definitely fit on a big screen also if i just select it and move it here and if i reduce it now it's following a pixel grid system properly so you can design without any problem and there is one more option you should enable like go to here and choose this pixel grid and snap to pixel grid enable these two options what it will do is if you just zoom in like we have a 8 pixel grid here like this is the 8 pixel grid here but we also have a 1 pixel grid here although this 1 pixel grid might not be visible in the video so open your figma and check that there is a pixel grid of 1 pixels you can see that gray boundary here and when i will change the side it's changing from 1 pixel to 2 pixel it's not going from 1 to 1 1.5 or 1.1 but if i disable this option like snap to pixel grid then i can change the size freely you can see that it's going in de decimal like 1.26 so make sure that you always turn on this option like snap to pixel grid and pixel grid okay let me change it again and to get more clarity about how pixel grid system works you should import screenshot of your favorite apps like if i have imported play store screenshot here and then check the size and spacing of all the elements like i have drawn a rectangle over it you can see that the size of this button is 40 pixels in height and width is 162 pixels and if i check the spacing of this with the other button it's 12 pixels and from the left it's 12 pixels also and i can draw a rectangle here Wait me, let me hold down shift. Let me decrease this opacity. Okay, if I just place it above. So you can see the icon size is actually 72 by 72 pixels. But there is a problem when you will import your screenshot, you don't know the what is the size of your screen. Like in this case, the screen size is 360 by 799 pixels. So to know this size, what you have to do is you have to enable developers option in your phone. Let me show you. Like to enable developers option, you have to go to the settings and I'm showing this for MI phones. If you are using another phone like OnePlus, Samsung, just Google how to enable developers option. It's not that hard. What you have to do is you have to go to about phone, then tap on the MIUI version. And in other phones, you can tap on kernel version. And if it doesn't work, just Google it. I will tap eight times on the MIUI version then it will enable developers option now I have already enabled it so it will not show me anything but when you will enable this option for the first time it will ask you for the password of your lock screen just enter it then if you come back and go to additional setting and if you are on any other phone just google how to locate developers option because after enabling developers option it's available in other section of settings so just google how to find developers option after enabling it okay I will go to developers option and now everything is same for every phone just scroll down a bit you see this section here like debugging we have debugging section here you have to find the drawing section like networking input uh, then we have the drawing and if you are not able to find drawing option just find this option here like smallest width and the name of this feature might not be same in all phones so in that case what you have to do is to find this just look for these three options like windows animation scale transition animation scale animation duration scale the option is just below that just click on that and type the screen width like if i change it to 400 the screen width will change in pixels although it's showing in db but dp is a different topic we will cover that thing in different video but it's changing the width of our phone so i will recommend you all to type 360 here so that our screen width will be 360 pixels now you can simply import screenshot of your any app and change the screen width to 360 pixels and height will change automatically and make sure that this option is enabled before you change the screen size in figma of the screenshot and there is one more options like i can turn on the grids here like show boundary grids then it will show the boundary of all elements now to get this 
this option what you have to do is go to the top of developers option and find this option quick settings tiles quick setting developer style just click here and enable this option show layer boundary when you will enable it it will appear in your top tiles here you can also edit it you can also move it anywhere else like i'm moving it to the second page okay now if i just click it like show layer boundaries then it will show me the boundaries of all the elements like if i go in any app like i go in play store it's showing me the boundary of all the elements now if you think that this process is too overwhelming there is a better option to this we can use this app developer assistant app you can simply download it from google play store okay after downloading it you simply have to open it and click on this choose option simply click and then click on this open assistant setting simply click here and then choose this as your default digital assistant app simply click here and it will ask for some permission or anything warning and click it then after that when you will press home button it will show you the boundary of all elements not only that it will show you the size of that element if you just click on any element it will show you the size you can resize it from bottom here just click and drag it so it will show you the size of that element you have selected it you can see that it's 32 by 32 dp and if you don't understand dp it's a dimension that developers use but for you it's pixels you just have to stick to pixel it's 32 by 32 pixels the radio button is 32 by 32 pixels now if you want to see the spacing between two elements what i can do is i can press on this arrow button you see here just click on the arrow and select the other element then it will show you the spacing between two elements you can see that the spacing is 20 dp which is 20 pixels now if i go to element like if i swipe right or left or just go to element and select on any text and then i click on this runtime state simply click here then you will be able to see the font size color and all the stuff like text color is fffff1f f4 and the font size is 20 sp which is again 20 pixels sp is a unit that developers use but in design we use pixels again the alpha is the opacity of the element if it's one it's 100 percent if it's 0.5 it's 50 percent if it's 0.3 it's 30 percent and we have other properties also like width height if i select another element you can see the width and height properly and the alpha is also one and there are other options in this apps also like hierarchy and this is not a sponsor video okay i discovered this app few years ago in some youtube video i don't remember what video was that but this was very helpful for me and here you can also turn on the pixel grid if you just scroll down a bit in the layers in the layers option you just here we have option to turn on the grid simply click on the on grid option and choose 8 by 8 then it will add a 8 by 8 grid on your screen personally i always keep this pixel grid off and this thing will not work in all apps like if i go to google play store it will not be able to show the dimension of this app like you cannot see like if i tap on element it's not working i don't know the technical reason behind it but it don't work with all the apps so now what you have to do is either take screenshot and import them in your design by setting the screen width or you can use this app to check the size and spacing of all the apps just open your favorite app and check the size and spacing of all the elements they have you will get a better idea how they use size and spacing in big companies and this was for this video see you in next one till then bye